everybody uh, in this video i am going to talk about everything regarding the coep hostel and also i am going to give you a tour so if uh, coep is your dream college then watch this video till the end uh, on the path ahead we can go to the boys hostel there is also xerox shop and uh, all the boys mess and this is the common visitors room uh, Right in front of you is the volleyball court. A uh, lot of matches take place when people have time. The gate for the girls hostel building. Like nine blocks, uh, they are uh, named from the alphabet A to I. Uh, the A and B block. Uh, the in front, the building in front of you is the B block, and uh, the A and B block are for the girls. while the uh, rest of the hostel uh, while the rest of the hostel buildings are the for the boys uh, however girls also have this uh, 11 floor building called the gsb which stands for the girls hostel building right here you can park the cars uh, in the old hostel that is the a and b block uh, the girls from the first year and the direct second year admission are uh, allotted to stay and uh, the other girls that is the girls from the second third fourth year and also uh, who are doing the mtech get to stay uh, in the ghp so let us see how the rooms in the b block look from the inside this is one of the unoccupied rooms that we are now going to see uh, in each room uh, four four girls can stay uh, and there are two cupboards one here and one over there right now this room is unoccupied so it doesn't have any tables or chair but uh, they provide you with two chairs and two tables uh, the hostel room is right in front of the highway and across the highway you can see uh, there is a ground that ground also belongs to coep uh, it's a coep ground there is a basketball court there Uh, the zest events and all the sports event take place on the ground uh, right now it is not being used uh, because on the ground the uh, jumbo covid center was built uh, right now the center has been removed but uh, still the cleaning is going on uh, on the opposite side of the road there is also a bus stop and it connects us with uh, various parts of the city so this is like a very well connected area also have these compartments where you can store store your extra luggage uh, uh also uh, you can choose your own roommates like in some colleges there is this requirement that uh, people who have got the same marks uh, must be uh, grouped together but here you have the option to choose your own roommates so during the hostel allotment you get to choose uh, who you want to spend uh, the next one year with you also get good internet over here the speed of the internet speed is quite good also water coolers on every floor as you can see there is in one in front of me and uh, there is also a dustbin in front of every room and uh, as far as the washrooms and the bathrooms go uh, 
for the old hostels uh, you have common you have common washrooms and bathrooms uh, every morning the housekeeping comes and cleans it up and they are very spacious and uh, the renovation here takes place almost like in like 3 years or 4 years so uh, the building is also very fresh and very freshly painted and you feel very nice living here overall the the structure of the boys hostel is uh, similar to that of the girls hostel it's almost identical uh, four uh, four students in one room with uh, two bunk beds two cupboards two chairs and uh, two tables hostel fees is uh, 30000 with a deposit of 5000 rupees for the first year there may be some changes in the fees uh, every year or uh, sometimes it remains the same so this was a tour of the b block find a lot of trees over here so if you ever feel hot if you ever feel hot while sitting in your room you can just come down and refresh yourself girls come down to study here a lot it's nice the ambience is nice that is a mango tree one guard on duty at a time sometimes there are more so the security is never a concern here we are now going in the direction of the a block so this is the a block uh this is only this block is also for girls uh it's also called purandar and uh, the b block is also called shivneri uh, all the other uh, hostel buildings also have a name of a fort uh, however the gsb is called jizau so it's a bit out of trend there that is the gsb and you can see people in the mess right now it's uh, almost around 5 so uh, it's evening snacks time nashta time this is the girls visitor so uh, if a parents or relatives or uh, friends from other colleges uh, come to visit us they have to wait here this is the girls mess so let's see what the rooms in the gsp look from the inside in the new building you have only three roommates as opposed to the old building where there are four uh, students per room every uh, student has an individual bed a table a chair a bookshelf as well as an individual cupboard there is like a lot of space here it is very spacious to live here then you also have one common cupboard to 
keep all the things you want then between two rooms there is one common washroom and one uh, and one bathroom and with two individual uh, wash basins the view from these rooms is fabulous like you can even see the mountains around pune from here like there you can see the mountains then down below that shop is the convenience store where uh, girls can buy uh, the things for their daily needs the hostel fees for this year was 30000 rupees for a year uh, it may increase by by some amount every year or it may remain the same it depends uh, then you have to clean your room uh, on the new hostel on your own uh, you have to keep the washrooms and the bathrooms and the wash basins clean on your own while in the old hostel uh, the housekeeping comes to clean the room this room is also very aesthetic if you look uh, with a keen eye you will see that almost everything is color coordinated the tables the chairs the curtains as well as the wardrobes all uh, are in uh blue color uh, and th this is a room on the odd number floor like this is a, a room on the seventh floor but on the uh, even even number floors like uh, 2 4 6 8 you will find that uh, the room is color coordinated in the color orange people also call ghb a five star hostel because the facilities here are uh, really top notch you can hardly find a hostel with such uh, good arrangement which has a lift and also and also a gym